Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Not all Unique Items are high level or hard to obtain, and uh, this is definitely one of the ones which is a little easier to find, which is the Hotspur Boots. Hotspur Boots are relatively low level at level 5, and uh, make for one of the best pair of level 5 boots that you can put on any character. Um, they give you 3 to 6 fire damage, which is pretty darn cool at level 5. At level 5, that's enough to kill most monsters. And uh, they have a defense of 10, which is way higher than most items at that particular level. 20% um, enhanced defense on these is uh, is pretty sweet, considering that, uh, of course, you know, at this level, 10 defense is literally enough to, uh, to protect you from most monsters. And... Um, will definitely be nice later on as you're trying to build your defense up higher. Now, of course, the enhanced defense does vary on this from 10 to 20%, so there may be a little bit of variance in that. Uh, but it also has a flat defense bonus of plus 6, which is pretty sweet. Uh, we also have 15 to life on these, which is a pretty massive amount of life for level 5. Um, and it's going to do a, a pretty good job of beefing up your life at that particular level. 15% uh, to maximum fire resist is huge at level 5. And honestly, in Act 1 difficulty, fire is the main resistance you need up until you get to Andariel. And, uh, and, and it also gives you 45% to your fire resistance. Uh, now, the interesting thing about Hosper boots is not only do they give you a massive amount of fire resistance, but they can be paired up with something like the No Kazan Relic. The, the No Kazan Relic is um, also fire resistance. And, uh, and if you were to pair up both the No Kazan Relic and the um, Hotspur boots together, um, you would end up with some pretty sick fire resistance. And, uh, and I thought I had the No Kazan Relic just sitting around somewhere. Oh, there we go. Um, so, so the No Kazan Relic also has 50% fire resistance and plus 10 max. And so if you rock both of them together, you will be rocking 95% to fire resistance. And because the Hotspur Boots give you 45% and the No Kazan Relic gives you 50%, uh, you're rocking 50, 60, 70, 80, 95% in normal difficulty. It literally will give you all of the maximum fire resistance and fire resistance that you need. Um, so if you were going up against the gates of the burning hell, uh, Hotspur Boots and No Kazan Relic are a really easy two-piece combo that can protect you from pretty much all fire damage uh, at this particular level. Now, uh, Hotspur Boots can be upgraded, of course. Um, if you wanted to put them in the cube and you wanted to upgrade them to the next tier, um, you would need a uh, Shale Rune and a Tal Rune to upgrade it for the first tier, and then you would need a Lem Rune and a Co Rune to upgrade it for the second tier. Now, I'm not exactly sure you would want to upgrade these to the next tier, but if you did specifically want to upgrade these to the next tier, uh, you would get a little bit of extra defense. Now, unfortunately, because these boots don't actually have a really strong amount of enhanced defense, you're not going to see a crazy increase in the amount of, uh, of defense that we're going to get. And uh, let me hop over because it looks like I need a shale and a towel, and I'm going to grab those, and I'll be right back. All right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and upgrade these one tier. And uh, so right now we've got 10 defense, level 5 requirement. There's no strength requirement. And it goes to 48 defense with uh, a strength requirement of 20 and a uh, level requirement of 29. Not bad. Not a bad little one tier upgrade. Um, if you didn't have any better boots than this, I could see popping this upgrade up. Or maybe you're using these as a little low-level dueler to protect yourself against fire sorceresses or a fire druid, or maybe you're trying to protect yourself against a uh, fire claw druid or a fire Amazon. Whatever it may be, you might want to sneak a little bit of extra defense in there. And because it doesn't breach the level 30 requirement, upgrading these to level 29 might actually be halfway decent for a low, low level dueler. Uh, we also have the ability to upgrade these one more time. So we can upgrade these to the Hell difficulty version. And uh, in the Hell difficulty version, it's going to be a much higher level and much higher strength requirement. So we're going to go from a 48 defense, 20 strength, level 29, to... 73 defense, 50 strength requirement, and level 57. That's actually not bad at all. Um, now, these particular boots, unfortunately, really kind of are lackluster once you get out of normal difficulty. The fire resistance and the maximum fire resistance that they give you are nice, but the problem is, is that they don't give you anything else. So despite the fact that you'll have fairly decent fire resistance, 
You won't have very good cold resistance. You won't have very good poison resistance. You won't have very good lightning resistance. And uh, and you won't have very good run-walk speed either because these boots are missing the run-walk speed modifier. I feel like these boots are extremely good at level 5 where they belong. Um, and, uh, and at level 5, these offer an amazing set of bonuses. But at level 57, if you upgrade these to the maximum, they don't really offer an amazing set of bonuses. 3 to 6 fire damage becomes not so great. Um, the defense at 73 is okay for level 57, uh, but it really doesn't offer much else. 15 to life is not really that great for level 57, and, uh, and the only really good thing that this thing offers you at this point is the fire resistance and the maximum fire resistance cap increase. And around level 57, you start to get access to other items which can increase your cap and give you uh, bonuses, like, for instance, Guardian Angel Templar Coat. Uh, you could be rocking a Rathas, which gives you plus 10% max to all, and, uh, and there are various other items that can go along, you know, with these particular things. Now, if you were, <laughs> like, dueling the most godlike fire sorceress that ever existed in all humanity, and she's rocking, like, as much negative fire resistance as you possibly can, perhaps you might want to use something like Hot Spur Boots and Nokuzan Relic. Uh, but they are relatively low-level items, and uh, and I think, honestly, that is quite where they belong. Now, when it comes to, to uh, Hot Spur Boots, um, they are so low level that they're going to drop from just about anywhere and this also means that they have a relatively low chance to drop because when you can drop from literally anywhere <laughs> your your uh your your chances go down because there are so many other items in the game of course that can't drop from those particular places but let's take a look and let's see um where the highest percent chances are for this particular item to drop and uh and we'll look for instance on silo's pen and we'll take a look so uh so here's a silo's pen and um, let's see here. So uh, Hotspur Boots, unique item, bosses, 150% magic find. Um, and we are looking at um, Normal and Dariel is our best bet for a pair of Hotspur Boots. Apparently Bloodraven also has a really nice chance and Mephisto in normal difficulty. So if you were trying to get these at level 5... Like, really just really trying to grab these early on in the game. It really does look like Bloodraven is your best bet because she's easy to get to. You can uh, you can use the uh, Cold Plains Waypoint, find her over and over again, and kill her over and over again, and potentially get these relatively early on in the game. So not bad. Um, now, if we were to go to uh, Super Uniques and go to Probability, um, it looks like Cold Crow in Cave Level 1 has a very high chance. And the, uh, the, the Cow King and <laughs> has a very high chance. But uh, but as a level 5 character, if you're really trying to get these on level, it really does look like Cold Crow and Blood Raven are your best choices. So very interesting. Um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, even when they are about a pair of very hot boots, uh, like the Hotspur boots. And uh, as always, keep watching.